What's good y'all? Thanks for tuning back in to Air Trafficking. And believe it or not, I'm back with another weekly sneaker rotation. I know I've been gone for a while. I wasn't doing much, but just enjoying my summer. What can I say? But now with summer wrapping up, it's time to get back to business. Got tons of pickup videos to bring you, as well as the infamous full sneaker collection video that I promised you all at the beginning of this year. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this rotation. So for Monday, I pulled out a sneaker rotation first, the black infrared Jordan 6s, truly a classic. Personally, I would probably go with the Varsity Red 6s over these in particular. Nevertheless, it's still a really clean shoe in my opinion, regardless of the sneaker having that pinkish look to it. Not to mention the 3M hits they put in the sneaker was really dope too. On Tuesday, I threw on one of the two LeBron 13 models that I own, this one being the DB13 model. Of course, with this particular model, it was more aimed, in my opinion, towards the basketball court. So it does make it a little bit harder to wear fashionably. Thankfully, I've been able to find a couple outfits so that I could break them out here and there. For Wednesday, I pulled out one of my favorite releases from this year, the All-Star Game Foams or the Northern Light Foams, whichever you want to call them. I really like the uniqueness of the shoe. The colorway is pretty dope in my opinion. I love the durability of this sneaker, and I'm definitely feeling the 3M hits that they put on the tongue and on the pull tab. For Thursday, I pulled out the Black Jordan 1 Pinnacle. If it wasn't the dope scale pattern of the upper that sold me on these kicks, then it was definitely the gold accents. I feel like it is really clean. All of the accents are 24 karat gold plated, which is why I packed a hefty price tag. If I could change one thing about the shoe, you guys probably already know it would be the white outsole. But for the quality that I got in this sneaker, I'm willing to overlook it. Friday, I pulled out the Jordan 1 Chicago. Probably my favorite colorway of the Jordan 1 to date. I really like the quality on these and over the last two months, I have been wearing these all the time. This sneaker is probably tied with the Flu Game 12 for the most wears this summer in total. And I'm not gonna lie, it's only because I know I have another pair in the vault. So at this point, I'm not really worried about beating them up too bad. The Chicago 1, in my opinion, was the first time that we actually got a quality Jordan 1 product. So, and although we've had a handful of other Jordan 1s released with nicer leather material, I still feel like the colorway puts it at number one on my list. For Saturday, I pulled out the Jordan 7 Marvin the Martian, which in my honest opinion, I feel like it was a decent sneaker. I definitely kind of regret paying retail for it, especially with it hitting so many different outlets. The colorway, in my opinion, is really solid. It definitely fits the Marvin the Martian theme. If there was one thing I could change about the sneaker, I would just probably pull out the lime green hits all together, as it will ultimately make the shoe more wearable for me personally. But on the other hand, that lime green is kind of what distinguishes the shoe as being related to Marvin the Martian. On Sunday, I pulled out the Jordan 13 Birmingham Baron, or what I call the hologram 13s. Sneaker that I originally passed up on but had to go back and grab it and I'm glad I did. I really like that prism like effect that they have on the upper as well as how wearable the colorway is in itself. I kind of wish that they didn't put that gamma blue jump man on the tongue but as I was saying with the Marvin the Martian that color kind of ties back to the Birmingham Baron so I could see why they went with it. Not to mention when I feel like it's out of place, I could just drop my jeans over the tongue. All right, guys, well, that wraps up week number 25 of my weekly sneaker rotation. Hope you guys enjoyed this return episode. As I said before, keep it locked to air trafficking as I will have multiple unboxings coming down the line as well as that full sneaker collection video that I promised you. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at the name you see down in the bottom right hand corner. And keep it locked to air traffic camp for more weekly sneaker rotations just like this one. Until next time, I'm taking off. <laughs>